All right, so for you Libras, you have the Seven of Wands and you Libras have the um, the Ace of Swords. So these two cards right off the rip tells me that a lot of you Libras are trying to get down to business. Um, no funny stuff. You really wanna to talk to people who are really serious about trying to be in a relationship. If a person would end up being a waste of time, a lot of you Libras are not going for it. And what I mean by that is you're not tolerating it. Come here. The fool represents some people are gonna, come here. If some people test you, that's my dog over there. But if some people test you, come here. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Don't worry about all that. Come here. Sit. Sit down. Good. So the fool represents here how it is that uh, if people test you, then a lot of you Libras are not going to be worried about that type of stuff. So um, if they test you, you'll just stop talking to them. And why, why I'm saying that is because the Ten of Wands and the Justice. Justice represents Libras. So you definitely showed up in your own reading. So again, this is what it is I'm talking about. If they try to test you coming on in with the same stuff, same crap, whatever, then you'll just leave them alone. Like, all right, I ain't got time for that. I'm out because you wasting my time. And, you know, uh, I'm, you know, I'm actually glad to see this type of side to you Libras because, you know, people will play with you unless you are being serious and you don't, and you know, Let's not forget Libra is the opposite sign of Aries, right? The warlike zodiac sign. So people forget that you still draw from Aries energy. But the thing about it is that for you Libras, it's more so about ending a fight or ending a problem so that you can get back, uh, get back to justice, get back to peace. And sometimes how it is that you end up, you know, uh, winning a battle, right, spiritually, is by simply walking away. If a person comes to you with some sort of stupidity, again, you don't have to hang around them. You don't have to spend your time, you know? And like it is, I said before, people really underestimate how wasting time and trying to uh, bicker and argue with the person back and forth and back and forth really doesn't help them. They underestimate that. and But they also underestimate how powerful simply refraining from the situation and deciding to walk away is because they think that it may not work when in actuality that's probably one of the things that one of the things that does work um and the two of, of swords is about because if you're looking you can't get into it with somebody like this they have fear uncertainty and doubt they're constantly thinking about if you Libras would actually be trustworthy while they're hanging out with you. That would defeat the purpose, right? Like, what would be the point of them trying to create a problem with you, right? Only to end up being in the same dating situation with you as a partner with to you. That makes absolutely no sense, right? So a lot of you Libras right now are very much so getting things clear as to if people don't want to hang around you, you're not forcing them to, you, you, you know, you understand it. You can't force them to, right? And that if a person isn't willing to want to be with you, you don't have to be with them, right? You, you can go off and talk to somebody else. So there's definitely a, 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 a paradigm shift with you Libras. Because a lot of you Libras are starting to understand that you know, because of the because of the going back and forth, you understand now just how much that stuff doesn't work. Because the zodiac signs that are that are trying to debate with you the most would probably be Libra, Aquarius, right? Those are probably the most. Those are probably the zodiac signs that will probably try to um, interact with you the most and try to. Um, debate with you, right? Try to get you to see things their way or whatnot. But 
a lot of you Libras understand now that it's not going to work. So the Three of Wands represents you can agree to disagree with somebody, choose to go off on your own. Because if, they, if the two of you don't have similar values, what's the point of trying to force or force it? And what I mean when I say force it, I mean like lie to yourself about your values just to make this person happy and then go along to get along because this person will rock with you if you compromise yourself. So the thing about it is <coughs> the Knight of Pentacles is about you are supposed to understand that you Libra should have way more self-worth. So maybe some of you did actually leave these people alone because you couldn't stuff it down. You couldn't act like you, you find them attractive, but you couldn't act like they would like that issue and the and the and the uh the differences wouldn't somehow come back to haunt you right to bite you in the butt because at some point it would be a problem with your values and their values down the line if not if not right now so a lot of you leavers are glad that you were date that you were talking to somebody and you were obviously dating them or whatnot, courting them, whatever you want to call it. And you found out now that, okay, the relationship isn't going to work out between you and them before you dedicated all this amount of time, a year, two years. But now the Six of Cups is about now how those same very people that, you know, for some odd reason, you and them can't see eye to eye, here they are trying to come back. So... Those people are very much so accustomed to them not seeing, them not um, having somebody step away the way that you did. And, and, and the fact that you Libra stepped away so easily, so calm, cool, collected, and you didn't have to make problems and uh, kick up dust and all of that. That's what made it really on point. So the thing is, is that the, the emperor is about, this is you. It, ironically, this is about you. Could be an Aries, right? That represents them. But I'm seeing this is about you, though. This is about how you're so proud of yourself to not have to wild out. Because Libra is a zodiac sign that can wild out, right? Okay, Flock, my homegirl, Lil Jodeci. You know what I mean? Lil Jodeci. You know, these is Libras. A lot of y'all be wilding now. <laughs> I'm not even going to get into too much details, but a lot of y'all be wilding now. Y'all are hotheads. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be hotheads. Y'all be ready to spaz out on somebody. And the fact that a lot of you Libras didn't, and you, and you realize that you don't have to start spazzing out and using your words and just, and just, just get upset. <laughs> You can maintain your calmness, right? And simply just be like, you know what? I ain't got to be around this and leave, right? With dignity and respect. And then the person actually, it actually works as I told you. And here's the proof that it actually works. Like, oh snap, this person, like I didn't have to cuss this person out. This person actually came back because I was decent to them. Yeah, that's one of the things that the dating pool severely lacks. Everybody, I ain't gonna say everybody, but I want to say 80 to 90 percent of the people who call themselves dating and courting or whatever it is that you want to call it. Right. Whatever rose by any other name. They spend so much time stunting off on the other person and trying to get the other person to feel so bad or whatever the case may be. That what happens when a person shows up and has some, uh, like I said, has some dignity about themselves, but doesn't have to cuss you out and, and, and like, you know, certainly not go upside your head or any of that type of stuff, but like just can talk to you and isn't, isn't going crazy and you know what I mean? Doing all this type of stuff. They could just, they can just literally just talk to you without having to go off and just bounce. And that's one of the things, that's one of the most powerful things in the world when it comes to getting to know somebody else. Like, like people are doing things from a from a from an Aries perspective or a bull or a Taurus perspective of being hard headed, trying to, like I said, the men are trying to act like they are they are the, the alphaist of alpha and the women are trying to act like they're the baddest chick in the world. Right. And all of that is cool, but that can only work in a, in 
a section for of people who is interested in that, right? Because when you out here, and I'm just telling y'all like it is, right? I'm just telling y'all how, uh, you know, the world works and just kind of the dynamics of how people think. And then when you deal with that type of stuff, how some people move, that's a very stupid approach. Let's clarify some of these cards. That's a very stupid uh, uh, approach because when you out here and you're thinking like that and you're moving like that, there's not that much alpha people. Truly, everybody's trying to be alphas. There's not that much alpha people in the world. Most people on the planet, if we're talking about these personality types, most people on the planet are like deltas or like omegas, right? Which is what? Which is deltas, which is worker bees or, or omegas, which is like goths and weirdos. But I ain't even going to say omegas are that much. The, the, the vast majority of the world is deltas, worker bees. So an example of an alpha would be like, an example of an alpha would be like Michael Jordan. The person, the the, the 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 combative overachieving personality it's like there's not that much people who are driven like that on the earth because most people want family and alpha will sacrifice someone that doesn't mean a whole lot to them in exchange for success you understand what i'm saying a delta or you know is a person that wants to be at the best um kind of like the best uh, husband that they can be. You understand what I'm saying? Or wife they can be, if you catch my drift. So like, when you, so the thing is that there's not that much alphas on the earth. So now, right, when you get people who try to play like they're so alpha, this, that, and the third, and the bravado or whatnot, this is where you get a lot of people who are real hot-headed because there's not that many alphas on the planet anywhere it's like a real alpha is like and, and and you know i hope youtube don't hit me for this but like donald trump the the combative you michael jordan right uh conor mcgregor right the combative over aggressive over achieving highly successful half crazy individuals <laughs> you know what i'm saying there's not that many people like that on earth. How many people you know are like that? So the thing about it is, so let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the six of cups. So I'm saying all of this to say that you Libras don't have to be this alpha or, or, the, or, the, or the alpha on both sides, right? The boss or, you know, the, the boss B or, or the alpha you Libras can can be in a zone for yourself where you just are, right? So to clarify the Six of Cups, sorry about that. You have the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Cups, sorry about that. Some of these cards are flipped upside down, the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune, right? So these four cards to clarify the Six of Cups is about, so, you know, them coming back to you and trying to, they will come back to you and try to tell you that they're interested in you. And, you know, they're going to try to make it seem like or promise you, they may even promise you that things are going to be different. But again, it's up to you, Libras, to understand, are you willing to give these people another chance, right? Someone that you were getting to know that turned out to be very difficult to interact with. And you just saw that you may not be able to deal with them for a long period of time so this is something where you Libras really do have to think back is this a person that you could see yourself with so the thing is that the emperor to clarify the emperor four of swords nine of wands page of uh page of wands and the strength with to clarify the uh emperor so again four of swords nine of wands um, it's kind of like these people are coming, these people are coming back to you and, and they're telling you that things will be different. Right. But it's almost like, kind of like they're desperate and kind of like, like trying to get back in good with you because 
they want you to like obviously they want you to be with them but it's like they need you badly and you libras are just styling and profiling on them because you didn't again you did not have to go crazy you did not have to be disrespectful in order to maintain your dignity right so the page of wands and the strength is about how um you like i said you feel good about yourselves but i just see that you libras continuing because this is not about humiliating them right because them because at this point they really want to get back with you but this is not about humiliating them this is more about you libras maintaining that stance and being like some of you will be like nah you're not really interested in them because of the stuff that it is that they ultimately do you're not really sure that you want these individuals around so anyway that's pretty much it comment on the video like the video subscribe to the youtube channel share the video peace